Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the six different logic gates in Minecraft. These six logic gates are the NOT, the AND, the NAND, the OR, the ZOR or XOR, and the NOR gate. This video is not meant to be used as designs for these specific gates, although you can use them as such. This video is more for an explanation on how the gates work and just the overall concept behind them. With that, let's start with the NOT gate. So this is a NOT gate. Pretty much what this gate does is when the input is off, as you can see here, it will give an output like that. And when an input signal is given, the output will shut off just like that. In Minecraft, this is actually really simple as a NOT gate is what a redstone torch actually is as it is just an inverter for your signal. Now on to the AND gate as I have here. An AND gate does as the name sounds. It will not give an output unless two inputs that are specified are both activated. So again, this will not work if either one or neither of the inputs are active. This can be made simply by adding two NOT gates into a single output and then having another NOT gate right here, or just in plain terms, two redstone torches into another redstone torch that these combine into like so. Now onto the NAND gate as I have here. Now NAND actually stands for NOT AND, so as you might expect, this is the complete opposite of the AND gate that I just went over. And so how the NAND gate functions is with your two inputs, when neither of them are activated, it will give an output. When one or the other is uh, activated, it will still give an output, but if both of them are activated, it will not give an output. Now a NAND gate is made by creating two NOT gates, just like before, and combining them into one single uh, power like this, and then instead of inverting it again with another NOT gate, just run it straight wherever you want to go. Now on to the OR gate. This works just as the name implies. It will work when one input is activated or the other is activated. And one special thing about this specific gate is that it also works when both are activated. It will still give an output. Now in Minecraft, this is very, very simple. All you have to do is combine the lines from both your inputs and then just run them directly wherever you want to go. Now on to the ZOR gate or the XOR gate. This gate is similar to the OR gate as it will work when one input is activated or the other one, just like so. But the one special thing about this gate in particular is that it will not give an output when both inputs are giving a signal. To build this in Minecraft, one way is to have four redstone dust like this with your inputs as I have here and then two comparators in subtract mode right here, and then you will have two outputs right there that you can just combine with a uh, two redstone line right there. And finally for this video, we have the NOR gate, which stands for NOT OR gate, so similar to the NAND gate is the complete opposite of the OR gate. So what this means is that it will give an output when neither input is activated, but if either input is activated, it will not give an output just like that. Similarly to the ZOR gate, it will also not give an output when both are activated. In Minecraft, this is just made by making an OR gate, but instead of just running a line, adding a redstone torch or a NOT gate to invert the signal just like that. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. If you would like me to, I will come out with a video that shows you how to make more specific designs of each gate that are more compact and useful in certain situations and certain builds. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.